Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is time for our first Champions League group stage draw deadline day and let's get some games involved as well. Let's go. And if you're enjoying the series so far, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and now let's get into the video. And for the first time in this save, I believe it is, we're going to bring you deadline day in full. We're going to take part. I think there's some business to be had today. I've got to be completely honest. We have seen a number of offers coming for players. Thomas Kozel is the latest. He had an offer of £49 million from Real Madrid. We rejected that. Obviously, we need to make sure that we can get someone in to replace him. Uh, if we receive an appropriate offer, anything is possible. We've also brought in Brian Lizcano. He is the 18 year old fullback. He's joined today. Can play uh, right back. Dribbling's good first touch. He's good. His finishing's okay as well, actually, for a fullback. Some decent numbers, double figures there across the uh, passing and the tackling and the technique. His work rate's 11. Very strong on the right foot, very weak on the left foot. Good decision maker. Sky Bet Championship player at the moment, but potentially a Premier League player and he's exempt from registration as well which is ideal and he's valued between 19 and a half and 27 million pounds and obviously brought him in for less than half a million pounds i mean, just looking through there's going to be a deal out there today that is going to be good enough for us it's just trying now to work out what that deal will be see just trying to be as careful as we can now and because i think any deal we make now we can't be a silly deal we've got to make the right deals and I think I don't know what we need. I'm not. I'm not in the market, especially for anything in particular. But if something does make itself available today, I'll definitely be jumping on it. As we have our first offer coming today, and it is a loan offer for Richard Kennedy. Going to take ninety percent of his wages as well. Four hundred thousand pounds for the way for the deal. I mean, just looking at him here. He's going to sit on the bench in the next game. He can play all down that left-hand side. I'm wondering whether it might be worth giving him some game time. Wigan are currently a championship side, so it might be worth just giving that an accept and hopefully getting him some game time as well. So Canate is out on loan, paying just under 4K a month for him. So we'll get about £400,000 for that deal. We've got the Carabao Cup third round as well today. So we're just going to draw all teams there. Who are we going to get? We are away at Derby of the Championship. So that is a decent draw. Hopefully we can progress. We have been very good in the Carabao Cup over the last few years. Obviously making two finals. Losing in both of them. But we made two finals. So hopefully we can continue this run. I'm pretty sure no one's bothered about the Carabao Cup. Yeah, that's right. No one is bothered. We also get the draw for the Champions League as well today. Still no offers coming for any of the big players. We were expecting one as as well for Federico Perilla, but that still hasn't come in either. I'm just going to go and have a look at our scouting list and see if there's anything showing up. I mean, we've got 10 million in the bank, but some of these players here that are valued in excess of 20 million are probably no goes at the moment. See if there's a player showing Kai Havertz, 35 year old, still four and a half star, showing up at seven million pounds. Ramiro Asario, who I believe we sold for. So for 13 and a half, Real Madrid bought him for 24 and looking to sell him for about 14. I think we want to go the other way. I don't think we want to go too young. We've got a two-star defense. Well, I mean, he can play all up the middle of the pitch. I'm just wondering how much have we got on the numbers of him. So 11 heading, 14 first touch. Dribbling's 10 to 13. His technique is 17. His physicals are all pretty good, even if these are at the low end. Still pretty good in whether we can, how much he can improve as well. And they've got uh, Joaquin Gonzalez as well, who can play all down the middle, but in more of an attacking role. Two and a half star. I mean, what's he look like? Number 19 first to a decent finishing as well. Dribbling of 12, passing. The thing is, we don't really need another striker. So I feel like it'd be just bringing someone in for the sake of bringing someone in. And I mean, we've still got enough to spend to get a couple of players in, but it's just, like I said, it's just finding the right player. And it's also. I mean, we're 10 hours in now. Well, 10 hours left, sorry. And we need to see. Here we go. Second offer has come in. And it's an offer for Brian Lizcano to go to Coventry. Going to be paying us 16500 I suppose. Again, give him some game time. That is absolutely fine by me. Just, we're waiting for these big players to come through. And they're not happening yet. So, 
we know what the final squad is going to look like as it stands. It's just whether it changes, whether someone comes in. Agent offers again. Who we got here? Max Riedel, 49 to 80 million. I don't know what they're thinking there. Cedric Mikel, 230,000 to 2.3 million. 19 year old French lad. We haven't got, I mean, he's tackling 14 to 20. Teamwork 13 to 20. Determination. I mean, it's not bad. He's exempt from registration, very strong on his right foot, not left footed at all. So we've got very, very limited information on him. What I mean, if we could get him for under two, what they what do they want for him? I mean Let's just Because again, this is another player that we could probably flip in a couple of in a year or two's time and make some money on him. See if they want to do that. £750,000 up front with Two payments of £400,000 after that. Doesn't seem like the worst deal in the world. And the other one we got is Nico Alonso, who's a left back. He's valued between £17.5 and, and £28 million. Pounds. Now, see, obviously, we've got more numbers on him, but you're taking a punt there at £20 million. I, I, obviously, taking the punt there at under a £1 million pounds on Cedric Mikel isn't too worrying. It's just when you're spending £15, £20 million, a lot of your weight, if you transfer budget, on a player that's just... It is really a punt at this point. And, well, regens are coming through a good name. Scott Scott. I want to sign him just because he's called Scott Scott. I mean, I feel like we're going to lose Joseph Tamarit at some point. I mean, how much is Joseph Tamarit worth? Where is he? He is. I mean, he's worth between 12 and 13 million. He's unhappy. If we offer him out for 10 million pounds, lock that in. And then we'll look at bringing in, let's bring in Scott Scott as a backup goalkeeper from Hart for free. You know what, just take this out and we'll, we'll give you 10 grand. I mean, this might be a stupid move, but Joseph Tamron, all he's doing is moan about it. Let's see if we can get some money in for him. He wants between 10,000 and 14,000 pound. Oh, this is Cedric McCall, sorry. So let's take out signing on fee, lock that up, bring him down, see if we can get 10k out of him. And then after playing 10 games, I don't know how many games he's going to play, so I'm not too bothered. I think it's going to be a while before he hits 10 games, but he wants 32 at 20 games. I think that's that's way too much. If we can bring, oh, he always dropped all that, so 12 and a half, 12 and a half will do. I think that's decent business. And we've had that. Uh, for Scott Scott, who wants between twenty four and thirty thousand pound, backup goalkeeper, absolutely fine. Take that out. I, I mean, that is a twenty five k a week. Thirty three. So what about twenty seven and a half? Can we do now? Thirty two. Twenty eight and a half. Okay, not the end of the world. I mean. If Tamara is to go out, he's currently on 50 grand a week as, as our backup goalkeeper. So, who's he wanted by? By Leeds and by Celtic, but no one's dropped in an offer just yet. So, let's go forward another hour and let's see if we can get any offers in for him. Still nothing coming in. So, no offers for Tamara. Let's have a look. Only willing to pay between 4.8 million. So, let's see if we can get 7.5 for him. I feel like we need to try and push the top end on it, especially on deadline day. But still, with six hours left, here we go. We've got three hours, and there are the offers. Celtic offer three point eight million. Come on, lads, get get real. So we've we've offered him up for seven and a half. Ajax won him. So did Benfica. I mean, he's done okay in the time he's been here. But I've seen Peter Wadsworth has come through and been absolutely sensational. And also, one thing that happened while we were off camera as well is. Uh, transfer revenue has been increased to 80% so now it's a shame that we didn't have that at the start of the transfer window we sold some of the players that we did but it is what it is really um, one thing I've just realised I haven't shown you is that we beat Brighton 2-1 um, in the game off camera so we're 2-2, two two, 6 goals scored 2 conceded, I don't think we brought in anyone else um, so I can't remember. I think we might have brought in Gianfranco Bellino. I think you might have seen the offer going from the end of the last episode. But he has come in now. 10.75 from River. And then as for players going out. 
Mark Hart went to TNS on loan and Mohamed Lofty, I think we saw that one as well, 1.7 million to Olympiacos. So we're all pretty good in terms of that. And oh no, I missed the Champions League group. So who did we draw? We oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we get Barcelona, the team that beat us in the Europa League final last season, Bruce Dortmund and Zenit St. Petersburg. That is absolutely dreadful. As Scott Scott signs on the dotted line, Josef Tamarit has had an offer from Leeds. How much are they paying for us? They're paying future fee of six. See if we can get seven and a half. I mean, they're currently paying us three million for the loan. Seven and a half on top of that. That would be. I'd take that. Uh, Two point five. Can we? Can we up it two hundred k for both? They're not going to go for it, are they? I don't think. Maybe drop this up to 10. 8.5. Oh, wow. Okay, fair enough. We've took ourselves out of the offer there. Let's see what else has come up here. So we've got an offer. We've got Alex Meyer from Red Bull Bragantino, 26 year old midfielder. Ronald Louise is a left back. Again, he's just trying to find want some youngsters as well. Gump from Athletic Mineiro. Two million pounds. He's a twenty-one-year-old. Let's have a quick look at age. Let's see. We got some sixty-year-old Serbians here. Dejan Karic. Oh, who's this boy? Sinsa Martinovic. He's a winger slash striker. One and a half star current ability. Four and a half to five star. Let's have a look. We've got his full numbers as well. Physically, very good for a sixteen-year-old. It's the Serb. Thirteen dribbling, fifteen first touch. He's Finishing does let him down a little bit. He's a profession, fairly professional personality as well. His work rate and his teamwork are a little bit poor. Off the ball's decent. Leadership's decent. Technique's good. Penalty taking. Hmm. He's not in the wonder kid category. But 4.4 million pounds. They want six for him. Can we get six without six with a 40% sell on? I think that's bad business. He looks like he could be a decent player. And like I say, already showed up at four and a half gold stars. Not wanted by anyone yet either. So we've gone in early on him. I feel like he's someone that we could get in. <laughs> Scott, Scott, that was... Uh, oh, oh, I've made the fans angry. Oh, dear. Oh, well, he's a backup goalkeeper. He's getting 25 grand a week. I know that's a lot of money for what he is. But we need a backup goalkeeper. And he's homegrown as well, which... Oh, it does help, especially for the Champions League. So let's have a look at Sinisa Martinovic, future prospect. He wants £8,750 a week. Ten signing off fee off. We'll just drop this back. See if we can get 7500 We'll leave the wage increases in there. Let's see. Can we get him down to 8 Down to 8 14 after 10 games, 23 after 20 games. I think it might be a while before he hits that many games, but... We can obviously look at that when it happens. Cedric uh, Michel has got his work permit. He's coming in 1.6 million in total. Let's see how good he is. I think he could be two star, three and a half star potential. Again, yeah, I mean, if we just look, if we go to that centre back, if we look as a ball playing centre back on defend, first touch is 10, heading to 11, park, uh, parking, he's marking and passing 12 and 11, tackling 16, and technique 11. Physicals are all pretty good. Balance is, is top 16. Pace of 13. He's, where's his jumping reach? I can't see 12. Bravery lets him down a little bit. So does his vision. It looks like he's only got one eye. But, you know what? As a backup centre back slash right back, I don't think that's too bad business, if I'm completely honest. Uh, if we just look at that inverted wing back on support, again, dribbling eight, first touch 10. He's got some decent numbers, but he's probably more of a fullback. Than he is a centre back, so we might just drop him straight into training there as a where we go right back, inverted wing back on support, and take control of this individual's training. And we'll keep an eye on that definitely. Still, no offers coming for our big players, which is again very, very surprising. Harold Brunig was another one who wanted out, but there's no offers coming for him. But the agent offers coming again, so we've got Theo Barras. 
who is 20 year old but between 11 and a half and 14 million pounds is way out of that price range it's some of these players here like Jovica Akimovic 275,000 2.8 million scout report C minus again physically looks decent his natural fitness if his natural fitness is at the low end there that is not great bravery 15 to 19 concentration 12 to 16 again he's a center back so heading of nine jumping reach decent i think he's one of those that we'll keep we'll scout and we'll see what comes up his scout is in progress so we'll keep scouting him we'll see how he turns up see if he is a good player seven and a half million joseph tamara is out of the door that means the finances look like this we're 87 million pounds in the bank 13 million transfer budget we're inside the wage budget as well can we go and ask for anything right now we can i'm gonna ask to see if we can improve some of our training facilities and our youth facilities just because probably the best thing to do and it's for networking see if we can get an affiliate club Oh, we've got one. We've managed to talk him into it. It's the first time I've actually managed to talk this board into anything because they have been an absolute nightmare to deal with most of the time. And four offers coming in here three hours from deadline. And let's see who they are. It's, oh, we've got the training facilities, 4.86 million. That's really good. We've got a loan offer for Mark Ray where they don't want to pay anything for him. So you're going to have to come in with some money. And we've got Cedric Michel... I mean, we can send him out there to St. Mirror. They actually want to pay some money for him. So that will help us financially. And I hope, I, I don't want to be sending, but in the past I've been sending players out for no money. But I think this season we need to make sure the players are going out on loan. They need to be going out on loan with some money being paid to us. We need to earn something off some of these loans. So we're inside the last two hours and there is nothing happening here at all. A couple of players offered to us again no real rush to get any of these in again player i mean if some of these numbers are towards the high end he could be a decent player but i mean current ability and potential ability not showing up as much just yet so we're going to be inside the last hour now and unless we get a couple of late bids it looks as if we're going to hold on to some of our players because there's been nothing coming in there's a few that i expected to possibly have offers come in haven't happened Kozol, Bruni. Federico Prilla were all players that I thought might go out the door. They haven't. And it looks as if we are through transfer deadline day without any scares. And that is absolutely ideal. And we go into the game against Watford. Now we need to do our Champions League registration. Deadline day has passed. Squad registration here. I think everyone is registered. Got a couple of the under 21 boys here. They're all fine. Yep, everyone is registered, including the backup goalkeeper. And I think we're in a really, really good position. I don't know what we want from the Champions League, if I'm completely honest right now. We need... I don't, we need to be qualifying, really. But I mean, with the group we've got... Can we have your thoughts on the Champions League draw? I think it's challenging in places. Do you feel any ambitions matched by the board? Absolutely. Many changes at the club with the recent appointment of the new board... I'm quite happy with the new setup and we still would have a brilliant straight to the first team. He's one of our best players. See, Derry Gaffney is playing well out on loan, but he just hasn't managed to fit back into the squad as yet. I don't really care about Liverpool. So we've been tough. We've got Barcelona, Dortmund, and Zenit St. Petersburg. It's a tough ask to get through that. And Barcelona are about as tough as it gets. How many more questions? Make a move to play football the right way. When you get 13 years into the save, these get getting really, really dull at this point. Anyway, it's now the 1st of September. We've got the Champions League squad registration, sorry, coming up soon. I'm sending the assistant for this one because too many press conferences for me, for my liking here. I realise I've been recording for about 17 minutes with this transfer deadline day and with the draw for the Champions League. So we're going to play the Watford game. Uh, let's quickly sort this out. So, if we auto select. Why are we leaving players out? So, Kian Thomas doesn't need to be registered. These boys do. Hmm. So, Anthony Russell's probably going to miss out. 
Oh, okay, right. So what are we doing here? Scott Scott. So Scott Scott misses out. Anthony Russell, Gasbed, De Sommer and Lee Zhao are all going to miss out, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like all those players are going to miss out. That's unfortunate, but I suppose it is what it is at the moment. There's not a lot we can do. Kern Henry, who... Has he ever even played a game for us? He's played one game for us in three seasons after coming in for half a million pounds, and he's upset. To be fair, mate, you can go. Um, I'm not interested in your complaints. Get on with it, mate. And same for Mark Ray. You've been on the loan list most of the time, so... <sighs> I'm going to regret it, apparently, says Mark Ray, who is a one-star player. I mean, why would he be in my Champions League squad? Seriously. See, youth position is rejected... Dispo uh, disappointed. Ah, oh, well. Hope to keep the board on our good side for the coming months. So, we're going to get into the game against Watford today. And it looks as if, with everything we've got lined up, that the squad is going to look a little sometimes. Brunig has got a knock, so we're going to bring him out. We're going to give Thierry Small his debut as well. So, the squad is going to be for this game. Bosworth in goal, Payas, Suarez, Small. Alex across the back. Thomas in front of them. It's going to be Jose Wilson and Hudson and Rike in the centre of midfield. Thomas Cosa on the left. Nikika Raj on the right. Federico Pillar up front. And the next time he see us will be into this action against Watford. Thomas Cosa with a corner kick. Suarez with a flick on and Cabrera comfortably takes that. And this is going to be a very, very long episode. Obviously going through transfer deadline days. Wilson goes in Thomas. Hudson and Rico over the top for Thomas Cosell. One on one. Smashes it in. Second goal of the season for Thomas Cosell. It's 1-0 inside 9 minutes. We have been on top in this opening 10. And we take the lead. Pires with his throw in. Launches in. Cosell looks for the flick on. Headed out towards Jose Wereson. He goes all the way back to Alex. Out to the left hand side and Pires. Infield to Wereson. Nice little triangles passing. We've had to go back though. Pires now. Into Jose Wereson. Square to Thomas. Hudson Enrique, three ball, Thomas Cosell, it's a great save by Cabrera, that's two decent saves he's made here in this opening 15 minutes, has really kept Watford in this game, because we could be out of sight here as the corner is headed away, and Thomas Cosell's deliveries haven't quite been on point just yet, but we're in a really good position, we just need to get that second goal here, because we can really kill this off. Suarez and Fenn are both down there, not throwing, I'm guessing he was giving, yep, yeah, he was giving possession back as he said at the bottom there. Pires now looks forward. Thomas Cosell into Petty Cosell. Petty Cosell's through. One on one with the goalkeeper. Can he open his account? It's a good save again from Cabrera. We have had 19 shots, 9 on target, 2.14 XG, and we're only 1 0 up as Thomas Cosell puts the corner in, headed away once again. Alex can pick that up, gives it back to Cosell. Can he find a ball into the box and he fires it over the bar? Ball in. Cosell fires it in. And in injury time, we make it 2 0. Oh, that one's going to be checked though. Goal is disallowed. Ben with the ball in. Think that. Oh. Oh, it's offside. It's been a really dull game, but we've done what we needed to do. We've come here, we've won 1-0. We tried to look for that second goal in the second half. We couldn't find it, and it is a 1-0 victory here in what is going to be the only game of this episode. 3 out of 3 to start the season. Um, it's been a long episode with the transfer deadline day. We're going to end the episode here. We don't want to run too long, but next time, I promise, we, we're going to play the Chelsea game off camera, and then we're going to come back. Barcelona in the Champions League, Arsenal, Derby in the Carabao Cup, Leicester in the Premier League, all the way through to Zenit in the Champions League. Hopefully, we'll have a good run of form there. It's some difficult games in the league, but hopefully we can get some results, get some results in the Champions League as well, and hopefully have one foot in the knockout stages. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time where we get into the nitty-gritty and the Champions League.